Let me see. All right, I'll go to Oh. Reggae Grammys, oh my god, Jesus Pim, who did you really give as the winner? No, I am just in disbelief. Hey guys, my name is Dottie Berry and welcome to another Countdown Quickie where I give you a trending topic in a jiffy. No, I have to talk about the results of the Grammy Award for the best reggae album. People are not loving it, people are not enjoying this moment. So many people wanted some, some of the other nominees to take it home, but many are left quite upset, quite annoyed, quite perturbed. So let me just go and give you um the rundown. So I think there were six nominees in the category for best reggae album this year, including in, including um Spice's album 10, Jesse Royal's um Royal album Sean, Sean Paul's Live and Living, Graham Morgan Positive Vibrations and Etana's Pomoja. And um a, a, a group called Soja, their album was titled Beauty in Silence. No, let's just take a look at who came out Victoria for best reggae album Me goes to all right oh my oh my oh my 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 not wow wow my vex honestly well I'm not really that vex because I I understand that these things happen because when it comes to the reggae Grammy category you now it's like listen if there was a Marley in the category that they are a shoe in they are a shoe in usually if you're a Marley or you are the person who produces music that sounds very much close to Bob Marley's music because that is the criteria that is what they go after he lit in my mind I hear it in the roots and the song Press no, oh no, no, understand. Soja is the person who came out as the winner. No, 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 come on. You had Etana in the category. Etana had a solid album. I listened to all of these albums except for Soja's album. You know, because Majestic Figure say, mm, you know, Etana in there. Jesse Royal had a solid reggae album as well. Um, if anybody were to take it home, I thought that probably Sean Paul because you know them people there in in the in the in the, in the academy they're not doing a bag of research to find out the pulse of what is going on in Jamaica or the current state of of reggae music for them I just think say you know who has that traditional type of sound um so I know so that was going to be a disadvantage for somebody like a spice um you know the mago just looks so if you have Rasta if you need Mali um and if you you you, you have the, the the sound there that they know reggae to be that authentic sound that they know reggae to be so i knew in my mind i was just like all right then maybe sean paul because he's the biggest name and then next they're going to have Graham morgan because he has won as a part of morgan heritage before and probably jesse royal because you know him have the look of how them view a reggae artist and and, and, and etana as well but we never expect um say soldier would have take it to home we never expect it at all um so this is a bit of their acceptance speech and even in a big light them one of them say one like a jamaican line where all that it kind of trigger me a bit <laughs> to the founding fathers of reggae music into the island of jamaica you inspired us all give thanks one love one love give thanks all right all right okay so if you don't know um let me just try to give you a bit of backstory on who soldier is so soldier um is they are um an acronym of Soj soldiers of the army they are an american oscar nominated reggae band based in virginia they were formed in 1997 their music is currently produced under ato records the eight member band has released a number of singles albums and dvds Okay, um, they said that their third full-length album, Born in Babylon, peaked at number 11 on the top Heat Seekers charts, while their 2012 album, Strength to Survive, topped the Billboard Reggae album chart. No, oh, okay. So, I'm not taking on from them, you know, because, but listen this is has been an ever going problem where people feel as if the the the, 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 the selection um criteria needs to be updated because they are not in tune with the current state of reggae slash dancehall music now let me just give you a bit of history um because in the past 
you know, we've had people who we've been familiar with that have won. Um, even up to recently, what, what it says here, in 2021, Toots, Toots and the, the Metals, they won for their album Gots To Be Tough in 2020 Coffee. The year before that, 2019, it was Sting and Shaggy. And in 2018, it was Damian Junior Gang Marley. Before that, it was Ziggy Marley. In 2016, it was Morgan Heritage. In 2015, Ziggy Marley. 2014, Ziggy, Ziggy Marley. 2013, it was Jimmy Cliff. 2012, it was Stephen Marley. 2011, it was Buju Bantan. 2010, Stephen Marley. 2009, Burning Spear. 2008, Stephen Marley. 2007, Ziggy Marley. So as you see, just from that, um, you know, um, from that, uh, what you call it, like about 15 year span, the Marleys have been a shoe in once they have been nominated. And, and, and outside of that, you don't see a lot of reggae um, dancehall artists coming coming out with the the win in the category. So, boy, oh boy. But, I don't know, what if people vex? I've seen Shensia. She has gone online to really share her thoughts about the situation and um let me just try to pull up what she said she has posted kiss me teeth if you know if, if you know make me cuss some bb clot is it what kind of effort that big and serious so i guess she's not um in support of the outcome Delia harris took to twitter to say we need our own reggae awards in jamaica i know the challenges from past shows we can learn from that sounds like a project for minister edmund bartlett we want to celebrate our people visitors would come to rub shoulders with their favorite artists let's do it and i definitely agree with this because i'm tired of your time people um debating whether or not um the selected artists is deserving of the 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 grammy so today it is this white band and another time it is going to be people cussing about the marley's and next time it's going to be the just the popular dancehall artist alone getting picked and so it, it seems as if it's going to be a never ending problem but what is the solution i don't know we're from to... the washington dc area uh arlington virginia used to be part of washington dc um we're, the name of the band is soja best reggae album we got it representing american reggae and shouts out to all the pioneers jamaican artists and everybody who came before us the forerunners Roots reggae if you've never heard any of soldiers songs from the album or any of their music at all you can check them out right here so this is a little piece of their music and you can comment down below if you think or believe that they were deserving who did you want to take home the reggae grammy 2022 we did one spice for, for, for carrot home because on a no say a year she had a business and this would have been the perfect icing on the cake um and also you know for jesse royal this is a big deal um to be nominated um etana as well grams morgan so you know many people would have preferred for any other jamaican any other act to take it home instead of this um american reggae group boy oh boy i just want to hear what you have to say but people people don't like it Pe people don't like it at all so let me know what you have to say about this issue right now in the comment section um burritos okay well that is it thanks for watching another countdown quickie where i give you a trending topic in a jiffy ta-ta